guys so some of you asked for this and uh this one's going to be a little bit of a challenge so you guys wanted videos of us loading cars and uh this is what we're working with today put my hand there so you can see it's it's very low well not just there but all the way back so gotta watch uh at the the curve of the deck so um good customer though he told me it was lowered asked if i'd have any trouble um any trouble loading it? and i said probably not that i'll bring i got spare wood and stuff in here and if i have to use it but i doubt i will so i'm gonna set you guys up here i'm gonna get i'm not gonna pull the wood out yet i'm gonna creep up to the ramps and see what i'm working with and then uh then we'll go from there also quick side note while i'm on it um look at this 350z got a tow hook on the front all right if i needed to if i was that worried about the front bumper getting up those ramps i would just hook the winch up and winch it up there with the wireless remote and just put the wood under and watch as it went up the ramps but doubt i'll have to do that here today but let's get you guys set up and we'll get this loaded definitely going to be close not very far from getting up on the ramp but you can see I can't get anything underneath of there so I might just go ahead and put a piece of wood under there just to be safe this is why I always carry extra wood we'll just set it under here like so underneath the ramp we should be able to run up on the board and load it up on the on the trailer now So it looks like we'll be all right on both sides. I just hopped out to make sure I was centered enough, which I am. So now I just need to go straight, and get it up the rest of the way. The e-brake doesn't work, so I had to drift it back down, but I'm gonna get this thing loaded up the rest of the way. Oh, look at that guys look how low this car is that's that's two fingers right there that's all we got what she's up on wood worked that's how you load an extremely low car here <laughs> 